continuing to fill questions for you, Samili. I have a student asking about the best way to make Anki cards from QBank. Is that a good idea? Okay. And I have a very solid answer here for step one and step two, okay? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. So student wants to know about making Anki cards from UWorld slash QBank, okay? Is that a good idea? And my response is almost always, it's a bad fucking idea, okay? And the reason for that is because your annotations need to be hyper conservative slash terse at best. And I've made plenty of clips here on the YouTube under the exam guidance playlist discussing how to annotate from QBank. But specifically Anki, look, Anki has a time and place, all right? And I would say if I ever incorporate that into a student's prep, it's for the NBME exams. Now, NBME is 20 through 30 prior to your step one, six through 11 prior to the 2CK with all the clinical mastery series forms. That NBME content, I've also made clips discussing how you will screenshot your incorrects into either a front card of an Anki, put the answer as the back card. I don't want you writing explanations. It's a waste of time. Or you can screenshot your incorrects into a Word document save as a PDF. Okay, students like different things. That's when I might incorporate Anki. It's very, very rare that I have students do Anki that's not NBME related. And as I said, it, it just comes down to time because at the end of the day, it's not about how we feel remembering material. It's about getting your scores up, okay? So students like Anki because they feel good doing it, all right? You feel like you're retaining that information, my concern is just getting your scores up as much as possible. And you can feel like shit. You can feel like your understanding of the material is cursory slash skeletal at best, but your scores are going up. So I want you getting through UWorld. I either don't want you making annotations at all, holy shit, or you're going to be hyper fucking conservative slash terse with your annotations. You're going to go into the NBME exams, 20 through 30. I want you memorizing those questions. And as I just fucking said, you can screenshot your incorrects from those forms into Anki, all right? And then the back card's just D, back card's just A. And you're going to study through. So all those incorrects, if it's 20 wrong, not a big deal. If you're getting 50, 90 wrong, that's going to add up, and you're going to study ahead those Anki cards. You're going to have many hundreds of Anki that you need to review in layers. So by the time you sit the comp slash step one exam, you're going to be in a very fucking excellent position in terms of knowing what the U.S. Simile wants because the U.S. Simile and the NBME exams are the same thing. And then once again, for 2CK, you're just going to do that for 6 through 11 slash the Clinical Mastery Series forms. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.